Okay, I tell you, we're not using a sleeping bag. We're gonna be using a blanket. More on this later. So come along if you would. Survival and camping talk. He's in the woods. Let's take a walk. How's it going? Thanks for clicking on this video. Tyler here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a, a do-it-yourself hot tent. Well, maybe a teepee style hot tent. But nonetheless, it's all going to be homemade. Uh, I'm using my, uh, my homemade wood-burning stove that I have uh, made up. And then we're going to be using tarps. I know what you're thinking. Tarps, wood-burning stove, don't go along. But I'm going to show you how we can get away with it. So stick with me because this is going to be a good one. All right, I'm going to uh, we're gonna grab my axe because we're gonna need some long pieces of wood to build this hot tent with. So we got my axe. We're gonna go around and try to find the straightest pieces of wood that we can get. And we're gonna get this on film. We're gonna cut those up and we're gonna start building this hot tent, so. Hope you guys enjoy. It's cold out, as you can tell. I'm all bundled up. It's around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative something Celsius for those people that go by the Celsius system. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and find uh, straightest possible pieces of wood to build this with. I didn't bring my tripod with me, so I'm gonna have to set my camera up. But here we go, I found a decent size, fairly straight piece of uh, wood. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. Just gonna give this thing a quick whack. One down, probably two more to go. What are you doing? You're not gonna come with me? I figure I'd take the GoPro. It's a lot easier to carry around. Um, you know what? There's actually one right here, close to camp, that we can go ahead and cut those two off and use those. I'm gonna go back and grab my saw. I can leave my axe here. I don't really need it. Urgh. I need to get this going so I can get a fire going. I'm hungry. It's getting late. We're gonna be losing daylight here soon. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. That's the thing too about any videos you watch here on YouTube of people going outdoors and stuff. It takes so much longer to do it because we have to stop, film, you know, make sure everything looks good on camera. So, like right now using my GoPro, I don't have a viewfinder to see if I'm actually in the shot or not. But, eh, it is what it is, right? So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut this one up. I'm going to try to place this right here, see if you guys can hopefully be able to see this.
Camp with our more more logs for us to use for this shelter. So I'll see you guys back there. Let's go get some more. Alright, now this part. I have a tarp around this. Make sure I'll tarp around a circle object.
got it up. Now it's time to start putting our our sleeping arrangements and our stove up and get that all set up. I gotta tell you, we're not using a sleeping bag. We're gonna be using a blanket. More on this later. All right, hey everyone. I got our stove up. Uh, piping all put together. Like I said, this is all homemade. This whole entire hot tent process cost me maybe 10 bucks. So it can be done. You don't have to go out and spend 12, 1300 dollars. Uh, a nice canvas hot tent with the stove. You're talking another $500. Uh, this is all done under $10. So I'm going to show you guys. Make sure this is all on video. There we go. Uh, this. So this is the Coleman uh, camp oven stove. You can see I cut a hole on the top and I made my piping all the way up to the top. Uh, I don't have legs for it yet. I still, there's still gonna be lots more to be done on that. But uh, I just kind of want to take you guys inside and show you the setup. There's not gonna be much room in here, but there's enough room to lay my sleeping pad out and use my my lower blanket. So first things first is we're gonna need to uh, go get some. Wood. All right, so I did find all these. Uh, pieces of dead wood that'll make good for kindling, getting a nice fire going. So I'm going to break some of this up real quick and then we're going to find some bigger logs that we can cut up and split and get down in there. So, yeah, nice and dead wood. This stuff will burn really nice. I don't want them too big because the oven's not, the stove's not that big. So, I want to keep them fairly decent size. There we go. Inside, that's the outside, and we're going to go ahead and uh, get our wood set up in there, get a fire going, and we're going to cook right on top of this. Uh, hopefully, I can get everything in shot because, like I said, I can't really see what's in shot and what's not. So, we're going to get our small tinder, get that broken up, get that put in there. Take some of this laying around uh, leaves and looks like corn husks, part of corn husk plants. Just gonna kind of keep getting that and shredding that down, and making it a lot finer. Hopefully, it's not too wet that I can actually catch on fire with. Also, in my hidden woodsman pack, I'm using my ferro rod, which I'm gonna switch it up and use this one since I don't use this one quite enough and uh, I got some juke twine in here that I can actually cut and uh, get a fire going with that
All right, we got our fire going. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and shut this up, get our food going. We got a little heat indicator right here. So, yeah, hopefully everything works out well. Was about 10 ounces of water, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And check on this. Add a few more sticks in. Goes. I got my other camera, my main camera right here, right next to this. It's putting off a lot of heat. We're already up to around 200 degrees in there. Uh, I'm gonna make some of this instant coffee as well. Warm up my camera so I can quit using my GoPro. I just do not like recording my go with my GoPro. So hopefully my camera can warm up and I can start using that again. Oh yeah, boys, we are cooking now. She's all good to go. We got our makeshift uh, hot tent. Oh yeah, we're cooking now. Got smoke going. We got our do it yourself hot tent and we are good to go. See you guys inside. Alright, I don't know if you guys can actually see me, but uh, there we go. Alright, so I'm in here. I got my coat off. It is steaming hot in here. Uh, we got we got it up to about 550 degrees on the oven. We got our food cooking. We got water boiling for our food. Uh, I got my bed right here made out. And uh, I can honestly probably take off my uh, sweatshirt and be just fine all night because it is, like I said, steaming hot in here. So, uh... Alright, so much better. So now I can actually see what I'm doing and recording. I have my camera. After sitting next to the stove for about two minutes, it's warmed up enough so I can actually start using it and recording it. Um, I don't know how much footage is going to be on that GoPro because I used it quite a bit for this video. Uh, 
hot tent, the uh, do-it-yourself hot tent is working. Like I said, I took my coat off. I can actually probably take my hoodie off. It is, uh, it's like 10 degrees out today. But sitting in here, it's probably a good 70, 75 degrees inside this do-it-yourself hot tent. So it's worked out phenomenal. Uh, I will show you guys what we're doing on the stove. All right, so there you guys go. You can see I got my bed over here uh, made out and we have our water boiling which it's yeah it's getting there and we have water boiling over here for some coffee um, we're going to be cooking a mountain house meal for you guys aren't familiar with mountain house this is the chicken and mashed potatoes so I've had this one before it's really good um, yeah, so super pleased with, uh, there we go. You don't want to be that close to me. Uh, super pleased with this. Like I said, I could take off my hoodie if I wanted to. It's about roughly 60, 70, uh, degrees in here. Very comfortable. Um, so yeah. I'm going to wait till this gets done. I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to hunker down. Uh, like I said, it's going to get dark here very quickly. Uh, I have a flashlight going in the background, so I kind of looks a lot lighter than what it is but um, yeah I think that water is about done we'll go ahead and get our our dinner made up and then hit the hay so all right so I open it up and this is the actual chicken patties dry freezed there's uh, there's two of those in there and then you have your pack for your mashed potatoes of course so I'm gonna go ahead and add the water and we're going to get this going. Hopefully I don't spill this. Alright. That's in there. I'm just going to zip that up. We're going to let that sit in there for about two to three minutes. And then we're going to add our potatoes in, and then we should be good for dinner. Oh, I had to come outside and uh, cool down a little bit because it's getting pretty hot in there. I was not expecting this. So, uh, as you guys can see, it is just uh, going full force there. Mm, Autofocus. I think it's about done. It's been sitting for a while now. Keep shaking it up. Like I said, this is the chicken and mashed potatoes. And it's super good. It's actually one of my favorites. I do got the, uh, the pan over here uh, boiling the water. I do have my cup of hot water to make some cowboy coffee. So, I am truly blessed right now. Oh yeah. That's what it looks like. It's got nice herbs and, and cheese and chicken and mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Even though it's like nine bucks for this, I think out of all all the mountain houses, I think this is like the only one that's worth like actual nine bucks. Really good. So, my next upcoming videos, uh, which I think I might be taking a break for a little bit, and I'll still shoot videos, I just won't be able to post them right away. Uh, just need a little bit, you know, time out from the whole YouTube thing. But, uh, I want to do the Wish Challenge, which I, sh I, I have the stuff in, I'm waiting on one more thing. And then I'll be able to uh, go out and shoot that video. That'd be like a, a two-day Wish survival challenge. Items only recommended off of Wish. 
and I also have the, uh, the good old thrift store. We're going to do a thrift store challenge. We're trying to find stuff at a thrift store that we could use on a survival challenge using only uh, items that you buy at a thrift store. So this one tastes like, <clears throat> uh, well obviously chicken and mashed potatoes, but it actually tastes like chicken and dumplings. I don't know if you guys ever had chicken and dumplings, but uh, it is super good. Let me see if I can get a close up here. And you can see the, it's got uh, seasoning on it and everything. Funny thing is I haven't had uh, bush light in probably like six years. And uh, where I was working, this little gas station, had a 24-pack uh, a of those on sale for like 10 bucks, And it was pretty much the only beer they had at the gas station, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I do like my IPAs. That's what I usually drink. Uh, but, you know, I, I'd, uh, I thought I'd... Uh, Go back to something I used to drink. I used to drink bush light a lot. So. Yeah, this stuff's good. I would highly recommend this if you guys are looking for like a, a dry freeze food for your camping outing or something like that. The chicken and mashed potatoes. 22 grams of protein. Two servings. Which I am uh, I'm about halfway done with this bag. Uh, my thoughts on everything. The uh, tarp's holding up. It is around like I said 60, 70 degrees in here. I was able to cook uh, my meal on here. Which was one thing I was looking for when I built this little shimdig of a wood burning stove. I still have a few things I need to uh, touch up on it, like add some legs to it, so it's not sitting directly on the ground. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it worked out just the way I, I had uh, I had hoped and originally planned it was going to uh, work. So, definitely pleased. I've been having this sit outside the whole time, <clears throat> so it's nice and cold. I think I think bush light is like a, a Midwest thing. I see a lot of memes about it, but you know what? I don't care. I like it. I will be in uh, Canoe Copia again this year. Any of you guys that go out there and check it out, I will be there. doing that it's weird um so yeah i will look forward to seeing you guys there Alright, so if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, like it, share it out, leave a comment. Tell me what else you'd like to see me build or do or what my next adventure should be. Other than the two survival challenges I have coming up, I will be getting those uh, shot here soon, I promise. So, all you guys that stuck with me, thank you. I am uh, going to be done recording for the night. I, I'm just going to uh, go, go gather up some more wood so I have plenty of wood to get through the night. And then uh, uh, I'll be going to bed because it's getting pretty dark out. It's around 4.30, 4.45.
the sun goes down around 5.30. So that gives me an hour to collect wood, and I don't want to just bring my camera around and try to record it. It just takes up too much time. Too much time. So I want to make sure I'm plenty warm tonight. Thank you guys. God bless. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this meal that I'm about to to enjoy. I want to uh, thank you for everything that you have given me. I want you to bless over me, my family, and my subscribers. Amen.